Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we will be adding and subtracting fractions. We will also include whole numbers and fractions with different denominators. But, we will be using number lines to visually demonstrate our calculations. But before we get started, we gotta get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? You ready for part two? All right, let's get started right there. All right, Charlie, let's try this problem. One third plus two thirds plus four thirds. Remember, we work with our numerators. Our denominator remains unchanged. So here we have one plus two plus four for our numerator and our denominator is three. Now let's perform our calculation. One third plus two more thirds is three thirds. And now we add four more thirds and that gives us seven thirds. And that is our correct answer. Okay, let's try another one. Here we have two thirds plus seven thirds subtract four thirds. Remember, we work with our numerators. Our denominator remains unchanged. And now let's do our calculation on the number line. We have two thirds plus seven more thirds. That gives us nine thirds. And now we take away four thirds and that gives us five thirds. And that is our final answer. All right, let's try another one. Let's work with halves. Here we have five halves, subtract three halves. Charlie, if you had five apples and somebody takes away three of your apples, how many apples do you have left? Two apples. That's right. So if you have five halves and somebody takes away three of your halves, how many halves do you have? Two halves. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, now pay attention. Remember, we work with our numerator and our denominator remains unchanged. Okay, so here we go five halves and now we're going to take away three halves and that gives us two halves and that is our answer but two halves is an improper fraction and is equivalent to the whole number quantity one so essentially this is called reducing and we'll talk about reducing later in the semester but two halves is equivalent to the whole number one so that's how we will write our answer it's one okay Charlie now pay attention here we have three halves subtract one plus two. Now we throw in some whole numbers. So we have three halves subtract. Look at the number lines, Charlie. One is equivalent to two halves, right? We just saw that. And so let's rewrite the one in our calculation as two halves. So now those two fractions have the same denominator. Now let's go over to the two. Now two is equivalent to the fraction four halves because four divided by two is two. So let's rewrite the two as four halves. Now notice all of our denominators are the same. So remember we work with our numerators. Our denominator remains unchanged. So here we go. We now do three halves and we take away two halves. That gives us one half. And now we'll add four halves and that gives us our answer of five halves. And don't forget, five halves is equivalent to the mixed number two and one half. I know you're all asking, well, what about the problems where the denominators are different? Yeah, what about those problems? I'm getting to those, Charlie. Don't worry here. Okay, so let me do one for you, your majesty. What? All right, let's get started right here. Let's try this problem. Three halves subtract two thirds plus five sixths. But don't get scared. Remember, in this video, we are going to use number lines to visually show our calculation. So, here. We have three halves. Well, notice three halves is equivalent to the fraction nine sixths. And so let's write three halves as nine sixths. Now let's go over to the two thirds. Two thirds is equivalent to the fraction four sixths. And five sixths has the denominator of six. So actually, you're going to be hearing me saying in the future videos that six is called the lowest common denominator. Again, we'll talk about that later in the semester. But now, we saw how two-thirds is equivalent to four-sixths because it's in the same location on the number line and three-halves is in the same location as nine-sixths on these number lines. And so now that our denominators are six, we work with our numerators and now let's perform the calculation on the bottom number line. Here we have nine-sixths. Notice it's equivalent to three-halves. And now let's subtract four sixths. And now let's add five sixths. 
And you see, our answer is 10 sixths, right? Well, look at the number line. 10 sixths is in the same location as 5 thirds. So when we move up on our number lines and change the 10 sixths to 5 thirds, that's called reducing, reducing fractions. I'm sure you've heard of that term before. And again, we will get to reducing later in the semester. Okay, so our answer is 5 thirds. There you go, that's a quick introduction. So in our next video, we will show you how to write out and change denominators on fractions and make them all the same. Hope to see you again soon.